I draw more force on here that I didn't draw, and that's gravity from the milk. Oh, uh, does the arm have weight? Um, no. Okay, this is one of those weightless arms that exist in reality. <laughs> um, okay, so what I would do, and I, you don't have to do it this way, but I, I would choose the elbow as the pivot point, just okay. because, you know, looking at the arm, that's where it pivots. And so if this is a pivot point right here, then I would say sum of the torques equals zero because this arm is just holding it still. The cook is just holding it out there. <clears throat> and so we look at this first torque, gravity, from the milk carton. And so the force would be mg. Does it give you that? It gives, it gives you mass, that. right? Okay, so it would be mg, that's the force, times the distance here which would be 25 plus 8, uh, 33. Mm, 25 plus 8? Oh, plus 8, yeah. Okay. And is that going to be positive torque or negative torque? I mean, the, the, the question I, of the hour, right? I, I don't, I have a hard time with the thumb fingers thing. Uh, so, Radius, like um, the force, like, not clear. So here's the way you do it. The radius is your thumb, the force is your fingers. Okay? So the radius points this way. That's R, right? So you line your thumb up with R, you line your fingers up with F, which is down. The answer is out of your palm. That's positive? So out of the board is positive. So this is positive torque. Okay. Now we look at this one. <clears throat> uh, break that vector down into its x and y components. bicep X, force of bicep Y. Here's the hypotenuse is force of bicep. So looking at this, we want, I use the other green, force of bicep Y times eight. Is this one gonna be positive or negative? Still yeah, the radius is now this little thing here, from here to here. So that's your radius, but the force is up. So your thumb has to go that way, your fingers have to go up, and in order for that to happen, your palm goes in, which is negative. So this is a negative torque here. And these have to, these are the only two torques on this, so these have to add up to zero. There you go. Now you can solve for the y component force of the bicep. So we're going to have force of bicep is equal to mass of the milk times gravity times 33 divided by 8. Um, should we use centimeters or meters here? I know you didn't ask the question, but I just put that question in your mouth. The answer is, doesn't since we matter. use both of them here, it doesn't matter. See how they, the units would cancel out anyway? But if it was like meters versus centimeters, we should. Yeah. So it, it, if you're ever in doubt, just put them both in meters. So if we were to put it in meters, this would be 0 0.33, 0 0.33, and 0 0.08. So there we go. And that'll give you the force of the bicep, but just the Y component. How do we get the, and then from there you have to use trig to get the hypotenuse. Mm -hmm which is what it's actually asking.